Hello guys, it's me Katya and today I'll be showing you the last part of my quilted jacket sewing video. So now it's almost ready, but last time I didn't show you how I finished the sleeves. In fact, that's the same how I did with every other seam. The last thing to finish is the color. So now I want to cut the exact detail with the exact edges. And now I need to clean the edges of one side. To do it I need to prepare a bias tape made from the main fabric. I only have the small amount of fabric left. So I want to cut many short pieces and then make a long one out of them. Sew short pieces together with 45 angles degree. Then again place the bias tape with the collar right sides together and pin. Be sure to take your time on the angles of the collar. And another angle, be very careful. Then make a stitching in one quarter of an inch from the edge. I will use this special footer with the one quarter of an inch limiter. As you can see, the corners of our collar will be rounded a little. Now fold the tape over the edge and hand stitch it down. Now let's attach color to the jacket. First find the special markings on your pattern and this is a place to start stitching your color. Then put your details together like this. I actually started from the center. And pin and throw them together. Here I'm cutting the seam allowance of my jacket detail. I'm using my pinking shears. And be sure not to cut the seam allowance of the collar. But you can make it a little less bulky by cutting the bedding and the lining layer. And we will need a little notch here. Be sure not to cut the stitching. And now I'm going to clear the seam allowances of the collar in the way I'm showing. So 
here is how it looks like. The only thing left is the edges of the jacket. As you can remember, this is the right side of the jacket until this very point. After that, it's the wrong part of the jacket. So I'll start with the first part and then make the other. I'm cutting the excess fabric and then do the same job with the bias tape. Here I'm holding the edges of the bias tape this way to hide it. And the corner again. And continuing until that center point. Rounding the corner and then again folding and hand stitching. Then do the very same thing but from the other side of the jacket. Here I surged the edges of my sleeves and now I'm also going to hand stitch it down. I also found two brown buttons for this jacket. And here is the final result and I'm very happy with it. The first thing is that you can use any fabric for it. You can use small pieces of fabric or some of your clothing. And finally it looks great. And because it's quilted you won't get any serious wrinkles on it and it also looks nice. Here you can see the lining and it's also very nice. And the edges also looks great. And I also can say it's rather warm. And so, let's finally try it on my daughter. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you love this jacket as much as I do. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And see you next time. Bye bye.